this is the ultimate tip and trick guide for you. I, not gonna lie, I am really good at death ball. And trust me when I say, I'm really good at death ball. Because I am that guy. So first tip is watch content creator. I'm not saying you should watch me because I don't really post death ball content all day or at all. But I really wanted to put this video since there's a lot of newbie coming from Blade Ball or from Content Creator or who is stuck in silver. But watching other player give you the feel of how they play and how you should counter their play style or use their play style. Man, it took so many cuts to just say this line. Which come to my second tip. Watch other player. Now most of the time, some of the creator won't stream or don't have the time to post video like myself who haven't posted anything from the last month, which we can ignore. But in game, you should watch who your opponent is because there is a time where that opponent is better than you and you're like, how I lose? How I lose? Just analyze your opponent and see what that person is doing and you can definitely counter him or her. This is 2024. We gotta, we gotta keep neutral. Oh shit. The number one champion. Whoa. And we're gonna go against the number one champion. Never mind. I thought we were. <laughs> nah, I got a cat. Oh, we are. Fellas, we're dead. Tip number three camera movement. This is just basic knowledge. Move your camera to control where the ball you want it to move if it isn't obvious. Because most of the kill is unexpected ball control so don't use ball cam but i mean ball cam can be useful for starting out but i highly suggest you just get used to not using ball cam tip number four look at the ball another obvious tip if you get distracted you're done for but in a high level game this is extremely important if you haven't noticed the longer you stay alive the faster the ball will get. <laughs> Sounds simple, but sometimes the ball goes out of the map that your brain instantly wanted to click the mouse, which could be your downfall in the long run. So yeah, keep your eyes on the ball and discipline yourself for not clicking early. Tip number five, map. Many pro, and I mean many pro, use map to mind play the fuck Ooh. out of us and it worked. 90% of the time, map is undoubtedly the most underrated tip I can give you. Let me show you an example. So I was getting pummel, as usual, but then he used his ability and faced it at the wall and I just instantly deflect, which caused me a loss. So yeah, use map to your advantage and like, where's the map tier list? You know, I'm looking at you, those high, highly uh, TikToker, uh, uh, YouTuber who, who played death ball. I'm looking at you. Tip number six, champion. Another common knowledge is maining your champion. There's a lot of video showing champion showcase and they give their opinion on how the champion feel, which honestly kind of affect people who main those champions and saying they're a bit bad. Not saying I'm one of them, but it really hurt me a bit. But maining one champion is all it need in order to get good. I know your choice will only be Gazo, Lufu, and Saito, but as soon as you get gem, you can buy them off and main the champion you like. And just so you know, it takes time to get used to maining a certain champion. Here's a tier list on how I feel about every champion, even the new champion that just got released, but honestly, this is just my opinion and how I think those champions are overpowered than the rest of the champion and how I got cooked by those guys in rank. And you will see it in rank all the time, personally. And if you think this tier list is wrong, well, better believe I'll make a super deep knowledge on how to use every champion or why this champion is so at their tier. Tip number seven, 1v1. Now, this is another underrated tip because in order for you to win a lot, you need to face off a player who's better than you. Like, how I can't win against top number one player in rank. 
it saddened me. But yeah, one v one people will help you improve your confidence and knowledge since you need to know how your opponent playstyle is, like how to be unpredictable and whatnot. Tip number eight, movement. I would say movement is key for winning all game. If you stand still and rank, for sure you're getting clashed, buddy, and you would end up being dead till the next round. But there's ability that not a lot of people use often. The dash ability is there to prevent any unexpected ball curve or player movement. The default lends this power to all of the champion so you can win more. It's kind for the default to lend this power. So make sure to use that dash ability wisely and jump in as well. The reason jumping is a thing is so you have more time to hit the ball or avoid the ball. So yeah. Tip number nine, map control. I already explained on how to utilize the map, but there is a time where you need to take over and not be defenseless. I'm gonna be real, I don't know much about this. To be fair, like the tempo of the ball speed or what position you should be in. But if you see that in rank, you will understand what I mean. This guy who made it to diamond summed up pretty perfectly on how rank player are. I highly recommend it if you try to improve your rank. You can like click the top corner or something or I, I'm honestly, I don't know how to pull link on the video, but, but I'm just showing you that this guy made it to diamond just by, you know, doing those map control things. Again, I don't know much about that in depth to be honest, but you could just watch that video over there. To number 10, stay calm. Even if you're one life away to your death, stay calm. Because if you panic, nine out of 10, this is over for you. Listening to music, commentate your gameplay, or whatever thing you do to stay calm, I promise you, you don't wanna end up like me, who panic against a rank one player. Tip number 11, humble yourself. Don't say I'm better than you, or something that is negative to others. Just respect others of how you lost, because being negative will not make the game fun to you and the other player. And sometimes it could be your downfall. Karma, am I right, fella? Tip number 12, record yourself. If you analyze your mistake, you need to fix that mistake. I would say this is the most common tip and trick for all multiplayer game. But if you realize what your mistake is, you can fix it. And lastly, tip number 13, enjoy the game. I know it's cliche thing to say, but the game is honestly balanced. Whether you play all the champion, grinding gem, grinding pro server to get better, grinding rank to reach to the top, hanging out in the voice oh chat God, server. Baby. Hey guys, oh, no. so up here. I'm gonna win this game no matter what. <laughs> okay, I'm in it. I hope you don't win actually. Or being in a clown. But yeah, if you have fun, you would definitely understand why the game is fun. So don't be mad if you lost all the time. Hopefully this hope you get better at that ball. And I know mobile player has this custom button layout, which can help you optimize your ability to improve your gameplay. And for console player, I highly recommend you increase your sensitivity to the max because for a console player who has slow sense is tragic and can do all clutter. God, I gotta restart that. <laughs> and it can't do ball curve really fast as PC and mobile player. I truly respect console player. But yeah, I truly respect, oh wait. <laughs> Why am I reading that again? But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, <laughs> bro, I'm already fumbling at the end. But yeah, I'm not gonna make another tip and trick video because I don't want to. There's other YouTuber and TikToker that can have more tip and trick when time pass. And still waiting on Terraria update. I am still am. So, hope y'all 
take care and i don't know enjoy your life i guess man i really i'm really terrible at doing outro